The right truth seekers. Suppose Catter sums up the day's news uh, fairly succinctly. You didn't need the rigged assessment trial to tell you that justice is dead in America. The FBI, CIA, DOJ, 99% of the DC serve only the Democrat Party. They're corrupt, rotten. We'll plant evidence, frame people, and we'll do anything to punish their political opponents. Then, of course, the uh, Patriot researchers will recall this post from November 13, 2020. Single word, Durham. And they're wondering, what's next? Where, where do we go from here? Well, I'd like to share with you today the source who's helped me out with some key insights concerning an interpretation of the Ghost and Machine Cywar video. Shared with me this interview with the Patel Patriot and Greg Phillips. The extremely biased Wikipedia has a negative entry for him. Greg Allen Phillips, the former head of Mississippi Department of Human Services and author of a tweet cited by U.S. former President Donald Trump, which falsely alleges, without evidence, that between 3 and 5 million non-citizens voted in the 2016 E. Well, it should be known that Mr. Phillips is continuing to work on election integrity, and he brings us some exciting news. 100% certain. If our data supports that, and if the work we've done supports that, or if there's anything else we have, because we do a lot of other things. We have a lot of, mm -hmm. we have a lot of, um, we have a lot, we have a few issues coming up that are more explosive than the mules, that are no 10x. Way. Um, more likely to to divide this country even further. Um, Catherine and I spend a lot of time every single day, really not just praying through it, but thinking through how do we actually do this? Because once mm -hmm. these come out, if there's one in particular, it's a it's a multinational deal. It involves billions of dollars. There's ir irrefutable evidence. Um, we've been involved in a major counterintelligence operation that's very mature in this country, involving federal agencies and us. Um, and there's been some betrayals along the way. There have been some issues along the way. Uh, but once we get to the point where this is ready to go, it's going to make everybody forget everything about the mules. And wow. it's going to bring into question everything we think we know about these elections. Everything. I can say that that's unreal. 100% certain. Do, do you have a time frame that that'll be released? We've, we've been talking about, you know, we're trying to get the, the ripcord pulled where we're going to publish all the data and all the video. And we've finally worked through some business. It's a very expensive process. And we're trying to figure out how do we do that? I mean, so it's, it's a ton of video and there's a lot of bandwidth requirements and we mm -hmm. want to be able to free it, right? Make it available to people without, you know, without making ourselves go broke. And we certainly don't want the people to have yeah. to pay for for it so so um that's that's a challenge that said that's looming out there probably in the next six weeks or so um wow. but this other issue as soon as we clear the legal barriers um we met this week with some folks that are actually writing it up legal eagles that are kind of writing it up for us uh, we're we're completely lawyered up we tried to go to congress to get some whistleblower protection on it because it's that explosive uh, wow. couldn't get it by the way um and um of course and as I said, there's been some there's been some betrayals from from the very people in the United States government that enticed us to come in and get involved in this. And again, it's not the lower level people; it's politics, right? I mean, once you get into these big agencies, especially in the federal government, you know, there's political people that sit at the top of all of them. We're seeing it right now with the Sussman deal, right? I mean, mm -hmm. reading some of that stuff is absolutely insane. Insane. It's complete insanity. Yeah. How could it be that the United States government supported this kind of stuff when they knew the truth? Well, we're dealing with some of that right now. And I was, uh, like we, we, we've been, it's kind of hurtful, but, but even more than that, it's, we, our view of it is it's a little bit dangerous and, and, um, you know, I want to be melodramatic or dramatic in any way about it. But look, I'm worried about Catherine. I'm worried about, I'm not worried what yeah. you're going to do to me. But, but, you know, in the end, I mean, we're all here for one thing, John, that, that's for freedom. In fact, I signed the yeah. end of my emails for freedom. And, and wow. that's what we're here for. And, the, and if, if some of us, you know, get, you know, we're casualties along the way, so what? This issue <laughs> will, be, will be made clear to everyone in the world, and we'll all have to deal with it. And we either do or we don't. That's unbelievable, and, and you guys, you guys got so much backing and, and support and prayers from so many people, the, the large contingency of the country, uh, enough to enough to legitimately elect the president is behind you guys and what you're doing right now. And and speaking of that, have you guys been in communication with Trump throughout this process, specifically, like what what you're about to drop here in the next six weeks? Are you guys? Does Trump is he aware of it? Um, 
Um, let me let me address the first one first. Yes, we have been in Trump, we're in touch with the president and the president's people throughout this process. Uh, Catherine has a very close line of communication with President Trump. Uh, they communicate regularly, um, and not just about the meals, but about other important issues um, that are facing the country and facing them. Um, you know, I think uh, there was some stupid ruling in Atlanta in the next, last couple of days, maybe yesterday, that, that they're going to move forward trying to prosecute him or something. I mean, the, yeah. the, you know, it's like, what is what's actually happening here, right? I mean, it, this is this is complete insanity. But they have a very good working relationship. And I'll we'll stop here. But he goes on to say that Trump is uh, being insulated from this specific thing just to avoid liability. Greg emphasizes how we're essentially attempting to operate a counterinsurgency against domestic and foreign actors who are on a thousand front war. We recognize that their major tool to help accomplish their objectives is the use of cross cooperating mainstream media, which attempts to set the cultural tone. But I definitely think this is something you should hear and should get out there that on this multi front conflict, there are individuals like Greg who are working within the field of cyber forensics even using supercomputers to try to better understand the voting integrity issues that we've had these last several voting cycles. So the timetable for this operation is about six weeks. We each can do our own part in softening the fertile ground of the collective mind to help the process of coming to terms with future revelations of major systemic corruption. So I want to share with you in this video. Till next time, guys. Peace.